is in yourself. And Russell Wilson, Brady, and LeBron make huge investments in themselves. On the road to lighten the holidays, don't want that car to break down. Is your warranty run out? Go to carshield.com. Put in the code HERD. A deductible may apply. Get 10% off if you put the code in, though. A lot of driving here. A lot of driving. Not as much air travel as we've had as the uh, cases surge for COVID. So get in your car, drive to your family, go to carshield.com. So uh, Jerry Jones always does a uh, like a Tuesday morning press conference. If I was a coach of a team or GM, I wouldn't love my owner holding a press conference. He does. It's Dallas. Uh, it's 103.5, the fan. And uh, the, the media in Dallas, you know, everybody's got eyes. We're looking at Kyler and Tua and Lamar, and we're looking at this great quarterback play, and Cowboys can't score and Dak's off an injury. So the inevitable questions come up to Jerry Jones every week. Is it crazy to bring up the idea of taking a quarterback with the third pick or the second yes. pick if you may have it? Yes. You asked me if it's crazy to bring the idea up and I'm answering you. Yes. <laughs> We're playing <laughs> games here, guys. But it, it's not the thing to be talking about at all. You know, Dak is our quarterback. But, I mean, it's a question, and the reason people are asking it is Dak isn't Lamar or Kyler Murray or he doesn't look like even Herbert right now or Joe Burrow, and he's got one playoff win, and three of the four years he had the best running back and the best offensive line easily in the NFL. Remember, it is hard if you're great. Russell Wilson's great. He's the best football player in the world. He's the best football player in the world. Mahomes is the best quarterback talent. But Russell's the best football player in the world. Since getting to a Super Bowl against New England, he's never won back-to-back -back playoff games. It's hard. Like, it's hard. Go look at Big Ben, Tomlin. They're going to end up in the Hall of Fame. They always have good defenses. They draft well. They develop well. Where are their back-to-back -back in the last decade? That's with Hall of Fame first ballot coaches and quarterbacks. Is Mike McCarthy... I mean, I don't know. You're watching what I'm watching. I think Dallas is becoming, the Dallas Cowboys have become the Lakers. They're all up in their feelings. It's a big brand. It's a family business. Uh, they've got lots of uh, trophies in the case when they walk by them every morning down the hallway as they go to their offices. And those things, you know, they reverberate. They, it, it's, it's in your conscience. It's, you're, you're sitting, th uh, we're the Cowboys and this and that. And then the Lakers had Magic Johnson running the team. And all of a sudden they said, Okay, we, we got to make a seismic move. Fire Magic, go get LeBron, and now they have championships again. Dallas has to make a seismic move. That's why I don't buy Dak as the long-term future. Dallas suddenly is soft. They're all in their fields. The 49ers get to a Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo. They lead in the Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo in the fourth quarter. The minute the Super Bowl's over, multiple sources say, they were on the phone looking for potentially another quarterback. Like, like, that's the way the game works. I mean, Belichick loved Tom Brady less after Super Bowl wins than Jerry loves Dak now. If the Cowboys helmet, if the Cowboys were an emoji, they should just make this their new helmet. If the Cowboys were an emoji, they'd be the heart eyes because they're all in their fields. You, Russell Wilson struggles to win back-to-back -back playoff games. Big Ben can't. And that's with Pete Carroll and Mike Tomlin. Those are top six, seven coaches in the league. It's nothing against Dak. There's a place for Dak in the league. I mean, he puts up stats. But, you know, if you take out the Giants and the Washington football team, and Giants are actually not bad this year. If you take those two teams out, Dallas last two years has five wins. But I, I think Jerry, I think they have to make a seismic move with the organization. I just don't think they're comfortable with it. That's okay. But I watch this. When you get these big brands and a lot of trophies in the trophy case, and it's a family business, and, you, you know, it's, it's hard to say, Magic, you're fired. It's hard to say, Dak, we love you, but. It's hard to do that stuff. I'm not saying it's not hard. But, God, Belichick showed less loyalty to Brady, and the Niners were on the phone an hour after the Super Bowl with Garoppolo. Sometimes you got to be cold in this league. The NFL is, it's not for long, right? You got to be cold sometimes. And I think, I think Dallas is the heart emoji now. Hearts in the eyes. That's what they are. They're all in their fields. Good luck.
But that's if you want Super Bowls, that's a rough way to go. I've seen that thing play out poorly multiple times. Joy with the news.